everybody. This is a Lamley unboxing slash Lamley preview. It is Auto World time. I know I do these every couple of months. I'm always excited to do the Auto World unboxings and previews. Round two, the owner of Auto World sent these two cases to me. If you look closely, you have Auto World 164 Diecast Premium 2020 release three. That's what this is. There's always an A box and a B box. We are going to walk through both of them. Same six models in each one of these boxes, but just different decos. And as you can see, these two boxes are surrounded by a bunch of other trucks. If we have time, we will get to what those are. That'll make sense here in just a little bit. So I already cut these open because Auto World sends these to me. I always want to make sure that I know what I'm going to open before I open it. But that's all I've done. Cut these open. I did pull out a couple cars for an Instagram photo. But other than that, we are ready to go. So this is mix three. And let's go ahead and get started. I think I have these in order. So we're going to start with the A mix or the A version. Is that the A? Yep. And the B version. Oops. I am in my garage once again. I'm actually doing some changes. I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm working on some stuff in the normal studio. I said that this garage area was going to be for live feeds. Well, right now they're going to do where all my videos are because I'm doing some, uh, doing some change ups in the other studio, but who cares? You want to look at these cars, right? All right, let's just look at version A of the 2012 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Laguna Seca. Huh? How cool is that? We'll take a look at the card art, just kind of show you what you're looking for here. If you're going to buy them at Walmart, there you go. I think hobby dealers will get these fairly soon and then, hobby, and then uh, Walmart very soon after that. But check this thing out. We want to look at this one. It's in black. That is the color. There's some information there on the Laguna Seca, which is kind of a cool, kind of legendary Mustang at this point. Well, based on the legendary cars, and they went through with this name. I think we saw Hot Wheels do this one too, but obviously Auto World, a little bit more premium, 10,312. You're actually going to notice, see, the numbers are a little bit different. We'll just have to note what they are, but let's take a look at this one on the turntable. Looks fantastic in black with the red trim. Like I said, you're probably familiar if you're a Hot Wheels collector with this car already. Um, but um, this premium version, I think, is one that uh, people are going to really, really dig. Nice to see them going back to that older Mustang casting. All right. Version B. Same Laguna Seca. Mustang Boss 302 Laguna Seca. This time in... Ingot Silver Metallic. I hope I said that right. I always get it wrong. 13,312. So more of these than the other one. I wonder if they're doing more of the B version. Maybe we'll try and figure out why here in a little bit. Same deco, same trim, different version. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything interesting on the card. There's a lot of things interesting on the card, but no reason for me to read all of those. But those are your two Mustangs. All right, let's see what's next. As always, there is, some, there is two square bodies in here, and they are just incredibly cool. So I'm going to save those for last. I don't think we have any new castings, like new brand new castings. There might be new tools with some details, but uh, you're going to like those square bodies. So let's save them for last. All right, version A of the 1962 Chevy Impala SS409 convertible. Impala's looking good. Satin silver poly. 10,000 of this one, 13,000 that one. So yeah, the B has been made in more numbers. Now the cool thing, um, the Impala reminds me that uh, Miho Exclusives, who does some work with Auto World, has teased their lowriders. I don't know if, it, I don't think it's this casting. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is the Impala casting. They've put some new wheels on it, giving it the full lowrider treatment. Those are coming soon. If I can get my hands on those, I will definitely preview them. But in the meantime, let's look at this particular silver Chevy Impala 1962 red interior red line tires just that same amount of detail which is why I collect Auto World everything moving forward I collect uh, put it in the collection because it's so fun to see these cars together B version same SS 409 convertible in black same red interior same red line tires different hubs looks like got the dog dish style going right there silver trim I always try and see what the difference is. Obviously, the Laguna Seca Mustangs are just two different colorways, but the uh, 
There's some subtle differences in style on this one, and tuxedo black is what it says, but that's a very, very cool one. You and Paula fans, of which I know there are many, are going to dig that one. All right, let's go Jeep. Seems like Jeep's trying to get a lot of attention right now after that Ford Bronco was released on Monday. Um, the Jeep competition, right? Ford Bronco's cool. Let's wait to see a die-cast version of that, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Version A of the 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited Sport. So we're seeing pretty standard with this, the same Jeep. I don't know if there's anything different here. This is in bright white. Let's see, four different models of the Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited, including Sport, Sport S, Sahara, and Rubicon. So there might be some differences. I don't have the older version of what they've done. I think two different releases of the Jeep, four different uh, models. And then here's the next one of the version blee, blue, whoa, version B in blue, extreme, actually not extreme blue, extreme purple metallic. Boy, I fumbled on that one, right? This is the JK Unlimited Sport. Is it the same one? Yeah. So exactly the same this time. This one's in that extreme purple. Extreme purple. Black rims on this one, which I think is a first for this casting. That one looks good. Looks really, really cool. All right, you can see square body, square body. We're gonna skip it. This one is very heavy on the trucks. I think this is the heaviest like truck slash Jeep mix they've ever done. You know, the um, the square body was the first truck they ever did. Then they've done these modern trucks, the Ford and the Chevy, which we'll get to the Ford and then the Jeep. I think we have an old Suburban coming up and some other things. Dodge Demon is coming. Um, Supra, right? Lots of stuff. All right. Version A of the 2019 Chevy Silverado Z71 Custom Trail Boss. We saw this uh, casting released last mix. Cajun Red Metallic in this one. Black rims, which looks cool with the Cajun Red. There's the art. This is a great. I mean, it's huge. Obviously, we're going to see more of these modern trucks. Really nice replica. You know, the way Auto World does it which I think looks very cool. Like it's got the black grill. I don't know if the um, the previous version had the black grill on it. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, really, really digging that one. I like the blue or the... Man, well, I'm really... B version. Actually, this one does say new casting on it. And you can see, actually, these have the same numbers. Did the Jeep have the same numbers? The, the blue Jeep's a little bit more. I think what happens is they create straight packs... Maybe even for the automaker, like sent to Chevrolet in this case, or Jeep. Maybe certain hobby dealers ask for straight packs. And they're going to be very accurate on the number produced. So I think you can really trust that that number is produced. It doesn't mean that they're all in circulation. Maybe some are, like, in Chevy's hands or something like that. But they're accurate. So you know that what you have is one of 11,104. Okay, back to the model. White with black rims. Really, I always like that color combination, the white with the black rims. Black grill, this one's really sharp. So I would say this one of the first release, this one's my favorite. This one might have new wheels too. Uh, both of these, those rims might be new. Don't have in front of me, so I can't remember. This one has the black trim around the bed too. That is really cool. All right, one more truck. I think we they skipped over this truck last time. And now we have something new of the Ford F-150 Lariat, right? Look at that. Version A of the 2019 Ford F-150 Lariat in Abyss Gray Metallic. Wow, that's quite a name. There's your art. Here is the model in a gunmetal gray rims. So this one looks really sporty. So it doesn't say new casting on it, so... Um, this is of the previous version, just a new color on that one. These modern trucks, they're great castings of trucks that I'm not that interested in, to be perfectly honest. I've said this before, I really like the classic trucks better. Not to say these are great vehicles, but um, they're just not as interesting, I think, as the older trucks, if you put it that way. But they're big. Okay, this one in Race Red. 10,008 of that one, 11,056 of this one. Bright red is cool. 
standard trim there on the side looks pretty good I mean like I said great casting of a kind of not interesting truck I apologize for those of you that said all right but I said I like the classic trucks let's get to the classic trucks these are cool in fact get that tissue paper out of the way we're going to uh, I'm already shown this picture on Instagram but boxes gone I'm moving these off to the side and you can see if I push these away I have brought out all of the Silverados or I'm sorry not Silverados the square bodies that Auto World has done so far they have done in their standard releases at least one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve are what I'm going to show you here in just a second but they've done some hobby exclusives that I need to get to and that's what I put to the side so the first hobby exclusive were these CS exclusives that's Chris Stangler he did it um, along with J Carr in this blue and white trim you can see that one and then one in golf I did get the ultra red I'm not going to open that one because I'm still trying to figure out what to do with that one but we're going to put that because I don't collect the ultra reds with the with this one It'd be nice to have one of course but uh, I'm not going to open that one but yeah these two versions in blue boy there's the wind that's what happens when you do the garage slam the door in the back um, that look fantastic golf and non golf versions in fact let's just open them up right now let's take a look at them so we can totally catch up on uh, on the Silverados or on the square body. See, I'm going to get that always wrong because uh, I'm so used to the Hot Wheels 83 Silverado, right? So we had those first two released by Chris Stangler and J Carr. Then Miho Exclusive, which is going to have another one coming out, did their pair. And these are very cool. One lowered, one in the um, step side, right? So they did the 1973 Chevy Cheyenne, Cheyenne Fleet Side in green. Lord, we're going to, this one had a carrying case with it. We're going to open that one up, which looks very cool. And then, yes, the step side, 1973 step side in black. And I've been waiting to open that one up. I bought these, both of these on eBay not too long ago. So, um, but I wanted to add those. So we had those hobby exclusives from Miho Exclusives. Oops. And then to add to the, finally add to the family, and the family is growing and growing fast. Just recent rele re recently released this Weekend of Wheels collaboration. There's the second version in black, lowered in black with those lowered rims, which looks very cool. It's got the uh, Weekend of Wheels deco on the side. Open that one and then look at this thing. Rat Fink, an Ed Roth tribute model. This Rat Fink square body. This is the 1973 Cheyenne. It looks so cool in this rusted out Rat Fink version, which I think is super cool. We've got um, Ed Roth's museum. The Rat Fink Museum is here in Utah, down in Manti. So we're going to open those up. And what I'm going to finish off the video with is all of the Silverados will go with all of the standard releases first. Then I'll add all of the hobbies. You're just going to see them do a one, one turn on the turntable. That's how we'll finish the video. But we have two more to open coming out of this premium release three. And check these beauties out. When Auto World said they were going to do the square body, they said they had the, they created the tools so they could modify the grills, um, the engines, the tail, everything, and that they also built chassis for lowered, for standard, for step sides, and for lifted, and the lifted square bodies are here, and they are phenomenal. I just think about these 4x4 lifted, and I just, uh, that's what I think about from when I was a kid, probably a fall guy thing, right? But 1978 Chevy K10 Silverado fleet side, sitting high and sitting cool, midnight black and red, New casting, of course, it's the same, I think it's the same body, but there's probably some details in the grill. It says this is the first release of the lifted chassis and the large off-road tires for our Chevy C10 K10 trucks. Love the new tires. I think the rims are the same. C10 designation is used for rear-wheel drive trucks, while K10 indication is four-wheel drive trucks. So this one is in black and red. Look how many they made. They know this one's going to be popular. 18,808. That's like 7,000 more. Auto World has become the world of the square body, right? 
So that one looks very, very cool in the black and the red trim. We'll let it sit around. We'll let it turn on the turntable for a little bit. I love its clearance. I love those fat tires. Obviously, we've seen the square body done. Hot Wheels did theirs quite a while ago. Auto World jumped into the game. M2 jumped into the game. They've done some really cool stuff. I think Greenlight's doing it. I uh, am. Uh, I have such a love for Auto World, and so it's these square bodies that I'm most serious about collecting. And uh, getting the lifted is really cool. Here's the second version. Same thing, 78 Chevy K10 Silverado fleet side, bright blue metallic and white. Look at there's your fun fact, power windows. Got some different stuff on the trim and this one in blue and white. With the white roof, it looks really cool. It's got that uh, silver trim on the back tailgate, same grill. Look, how are you going to... How are you going to pick a preference with uh, the square body? Because the square body is all about that silhouette, right? Lifted, lowered, stock, doesn't matter. But these, ah, these lifted might be the most fun so far. You guys tell me what you think. This is a great mix. I think highlighted, of course, by the square bodies. But is that, that's always been the case. I, I think next mix, when we get the, uh, the demon, maybe the square body will be... Uh, surpassed in terms of uh, excitement but uh, they're still running and running strong i think we got some more hobby exclusives coming out it's been a hot model hopefully they don't overdo it but still it's strong now and this is a great addition so we'll walk through all of the square bodies released so far you guys tell me what you think tell me what you like about this mix tell me what you like about these square bodies tell me if those lifted are the ones you like the most i am digging this set thank you round two and auto world for sending these over look for these at hobby dealers and walmart's very soon thanks everybody bye